This video demonstrates how to create the installation media for an embedded Plex client. The focus here is on OpenPHT, but the steps involved are exactly the same for Plex Media Player. The only difference is that PMP is downloaded from the Plex website and is only available to Plex Pass holders. There are two pieces of free software you need to download and install before we get started. The first is 7-Zip, which we will use to extract the ISO file from the .gz archive file we download. And the second is Win32 Disk Imager, which we will use to write that image to a thumb drive or SD card. This video assumes that you are using Windows. If you are not, you will need to find an extractor and image writer that work on your OS of choice. I should note that in some cases, the media we create will install the embedded client on the device's internal storage, and in other cases, the client will run directly from an SD card. The process for creating the media is the same in either case. The OpenPHT client is available on GitHub, but there are some things to consider when deciding which version to download. The latest pre-release version will always have the latest features, but will also have the most bugs. The latest official release will have fewer features, but should be more stable. The catch is that the official release does not necessarily support all of the newer devices, so it is sometimes necessary to use a pre-release. In this situation, I recommend using the first pre-release that supports your client, as it will most likely have fewer bugs. This is complicated by the fact that which release is most stable on a particular device varies, and that the latest pre-release may run perfectly fine on some devices while being bug-ridden and unstable on others. I am building a sandbox machine, so I'm going to risk it and grab the latest pre-release for my WeTech hub. Once you download the file and extract it in place using 7-zip, this will create a single ISO file. Open Win32 Disk Imager, select the file in the drive letter for your SD card, and click Write. Wait for it to complete. When it is done, Simply eject your card or thumb drive and insert it into your client hardware while it is powered down. The next video will walk through the initial configuration of the client device. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you find my videos useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.